Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again. Well, as, as I am still going to review Tim Burton's Batman to be the start off of my review of the Batman films, going from Tim Burton to Joel Schumacher's and Chris Renan's. So, for a little slight delay here, I said I'd do a, a special inside look video, which I haven't done in a while, so why not? And here's what I got from Amazon. To start off here, it's not a movie, this is a, a t shirt I got. So. If y'all can see, mm-hmm, and that's right, Say Ferris from the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Having got this shirt, it's navy, it has Say Ferris on it, which the American font to it. And the size, of course, is medium, which that's the size I always wear. Really love this shirt, and hopefully someday, Dad, if I ever do a review of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I will wear this shirt. So, so yeah, here's Say Ferris, the t-shirt. And to start off here, I have a Blu-ray of the John Hughes film, Weird Science, from Arrow Video, which is the first time I ever owned something from a different company. Because from Breakfast Club, it was a Criterion. This is from Arrow Video. And of course, that's the film's plus of artwork, and this is a steel book. And here's the back. And here's the spine. And to talk about the content of this steel book, <clears throat> new restoration by Arrow Films from a 4K scan of the original negative, high definition 1080p Blu-ray presentation of the original theatrical version of the film, 94 minutes long, plus seamlessly branched exclusive extended version that runs like 97 minutes, featuring two additional scenes, newly remastered in high definition, original lost with stereo audio, plus 5.1 DTS HDMA surrounded option theatrical version only original english subtitles for the deaf and hard for hearing and you have the editor tv of the film that's only a standard definition for like 95 minutes plus comparison featurette highlighting the alternate dubs and edits option to watch the digital scenes from the extended version separately casting weird science and an all new interview with casting director jackie birch dino the greek a newly filmed interview with the point actor john capillos freaking me i got his name wrong Chet Happens, a newly filmed interview with special makeup creator Craig Reardon. Fantasy and Microchips, a newly filmed interview with editor Chris Levinson. Era Newborn Makes the Score, a newly filmed interview with a composer. It's a live, resurrecting weird science. An archive documentary featuring interviews with cast, crew, and admirers, including star Anthony Michael Hall. And you get theatrical trailers, TV spots, and radio spots, image gallery, and a BD ROM PD of the original shooting script. So that's what's contained right here. So better start wrapping this. It's my knife. Very easy. Here we go. <clears throat> Unwrapping it. All right, got the wrapper off. Actually, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to pull this off. So, can I help it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't because it's at the bottom right here. So, I guess never mind then. So, let me just... Yeah, just pull it off. So... Ah, that's why. Because there's a tape. Did not see that. Okay. Here's the front again, here's the spine. Oh, let me cover this up. And here's the scene from the movie where we meet. So, what is it that you little maniacs like to do? Kelly LeBrock scene. And of course, you know I'm covering this up here because she's in her underwear, so. Don't want you to see that, so. Just have to cover that part out, so. Which I know you've probably seen the movie, but right now on camera, I'm just going to cover this out so you don't need to see it. So, so there's that. Hmm, what's this? I 
here's this, which I assume it's a film by Edgar Wright, A Fistful of Fingers. Oh, that's one of Edgar Wright's earlier films before he got into make Shaun of Dead. And these are the list of films from Arrow Video. And of course, why you recognize one of them, and that's Donnie Darko. Which I wish I could get this on Blu ray. This four disc Blu ray limited edition that has both the theatrical and the director's cut and has all the features, but it's rare and expensive. So, Arrow, if you're watching this right now, I think you need to reissue that film again on Blu ray. But pretty much just stick with the two disc. For one disc will be the theatrical and directors, and the other will be the features. So, and main to name. So, okay, there's that. And we have here is. This could be a long video, by the way, so just bear with me. And here's the booklet. Again, covered this up now because of her underwear. And this is what the regular blur will look like, just like this. But of course, if you buy the regular edition, you can always go like, oh, if you don't like this cover, then just go with the film's poster artwork. So yeah, once you buy the, the regular Blu-ray, it'll look like this. When you flip it around, it'll become this. So, so there's the booklet. Of contents and... I'm putting bras on their heads. You may not read the text at all, but at least you'll get to see how the pictures look. But even if you do buy this, you can read what's in the booklet. Of course, yeah, this film does have a, a you know, Robert Downey Jr. before he was Iron Man. Then you think you have Robert Wrestler from the second Never Know Street movie, Fray's Revenge. Of course, you do have the late Bill Paxton. May he rest in peace. I really miss Bill Paxton since I love him in Twister and my Joe Young. But I'm almost done. I'm gonna get a few pages of it and that'll be it. Of course, Eddie Michael has already appeared in three of John Hughes films, such as Sissy Candles, Weird Science, and The Breakfast Club. Okay, there's that. And here's the disc artwork itself. Pull this out. Show it off again. Then here's what the inside looks like. <clears throat> All right. Alright, so there you have it. 
Steelbook Blu-ray edition from Era Video, Weird Science. Can't wait to watch all the features and watch the movie again. This is one of my favorite John Hughes films, along with Sissy Candles, Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller, and Plant Trains and Automobiles. I do like uh, Uncle Buck, not one of his gurus, but I like him. She's on a baby. I liked it okay. Curry Sue, I'm not sure if I've seen it. Anyway, down to one more here, because I know I'm still rambling on about it. Now we come to DVD. And since I've done my review of Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz, I finally got my copy of it, but it also comes with a sequel. Tom and Jerry Back to Oz. And here it is on DVD. Yes, I know there was a Blu-ray of this, but I just had to pick this up because it comes with a sequel, which I've never seen, so. But hey, at least I got it, I got it. So, you have Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz, and Tom and Jerry Back to Oz. That's a double feature DVD package. That's the cover. That's the spine. And there's the back of it. Any features for Tom and Jerry Back to Oz, you get four sing along music, the musicals, video, music videos, sorry, four sing along music videos. And you get an alternative way to watch Tom and Jerry Back to Oz in a sepia tone for the opening because of the Kansas scenes. And of course, you have the features for Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. You have Tom and Jerry and the Science of Oz learn how to make a hot air balloon and how to make a tornado ball and other cool family friendly activities. And, like Back to Oz, you can also watch the Kansas City and Sepia Tone before you enter Oz in color, just like how the, the original Wizard of Oz was. Even though that's one of my criticisms about, about Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz, I wish that the Kansas City were in Sepia Tone, but thankfully, you get it right here on this. I can watch it as I remember from the original film. So anyway, I'm wrapped to this. The wrap around. Okay, got unwrapped. So open it up. Huh, okay, this is a two disc. I said it'll be like two movies rolling to one disc, but nope. Here's the disc one. If y'all can see, that's Tom and Jerry, Bat to Oz. It's all green. And I can see myself. On the phone ones are like a reflection, you know, like a mirror. And here's Tommy Jerry and the Wither of Oz, all black and white. And you have the Wicked Witch right here. Hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. No slip or anything like that, or no digital copy download. So, so yeah, that's about it. So, just to go over one last time. Save Fair is the t-shirt. The double feature pack of Tom and Jerry and the Wither of Oz along with the sequel, Bat to Oz. And the Steelbook release from Arrow Video of John Hughes' We Are Science. So, that's about it. And now my next one I gotta do is review Tim Burton's Batman. So, let me know what you think of this video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Feel free to your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe button. So thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.